We're gonna try to slay, slay a dragon with that thing. That's a barracuda. Saw him. That was the sickest eat ever, guys. That was so sick. That was so sick. He's giant. I'm so screwed. It's also running me over here. Got him, got him. Over the structure, so I don't want to lose him. We got too much traffic already. Even if we lose him, that's okay. I just wanted that eat. Check it out, guys. Big Barry. Come on. Yikes, this looks terrifying. Been around a lot of these types of fish, but this guy, here's something else. Let's unhook him first. Okay. It's a cool fish, man. Like a quick shot of him. For y'all on YouTube land. Oh man. I used to know a guy on Avenue X that smelled like this thing. Cool, cool, cool. As promised, the first barracuda of the year. This thing is insane. Well, I guess I could get this video started. That was my original tension. Uh, it got a little too busy. So I had to leave those uh, barracudas. Kayaks, they're just, you know, it's kind of the novelty platform. You can catch a hundred barracuda 20 miles out, but get them on the kayak near the beach is its own. It's kind of the joke platform to do it on, right? Let's do a little bottom fishing. Uh, and if this traffic clears up, we'll go try to get another barracuda. Uh, I caught that fish within my first five minutes there. So I would say we're on the northernmost range. We're pretty close to it though. You got a couple in Virginia, I think. So uh, that's our, like our summer. I think they're, they're insane. I can't think of a fish that's uh, anything like that. So, and these are barracuda tubes, uh, striped bass tubes, really. Um, I have two hooks in here. That one was in the middle. They like to T-bone your lures. A stretch of 40 pound leader, a ball bearing swivel. On the kayak, it's easier to handle than a shark. It's kind of what I got, you know what I'm saying? So that's a Pen Clash 3000. I've got 30 pound braid on there. That's the Jigging World Black Widow. All right, I'm gonna head over to the next spot here. We're gonna try to see if we can jig up some you know something off the bottom that we can eat uh flounder's closed so i'm gonna use uh you know metal jigs um there are some trigger fish out here usually um so we're gonna try to see if we get a couple of those barracuda didn't hit this thing either so i tried this flying wide back i figured it was the right color and right profile this looks dumb as hell i'm putting a couple strips of fish bites on here if you watched a couple of my videos from other years you know you'll know that the trigger fish will We'll jump on that. So, yeah, it doesn't look like it makes much sense. But the trigger fish are aggressive fish. So, I'm going to get out there to like 45 feet. All right. And let's start jigging. Let's see what we get on it. Something twisting. Let's see. 
I hope that's not a shark. I don't like the feeling of this one, guys. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Please don't be a shark. Sometimes when you get to the bottom and get a bite instantly, it's not a good feeling. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. I also like them to come up kind of clean. Is it a shark? It's a shark. Oh gosh. What kind of shark do we got here? See, this is why it's hard to fish around here. You drop your, your jigs down, you pretty much get an instant shark sometimes, especially if you go down the bait route. That's a, uh, what's the type? Um, not a dogfish, that's a sharp nose. Never a good time when he's, he's the first one on your party. All right. All right, I guess we should try that again. I guess I might not survive the shack, the sharks down here today. But, uh, let's just try this one more time. Looks like Spanish. I don't know. Yeah, Spanish mackerel. Cool. It's summertime, so you take what you get. You know what I'm saying? Looks like I got a school of Spanish busting here. Spanish. Maybe he's a Spanish mackerel. Didn't look very big, but that's all right. Yeah, Spanish mackerel. This one. Can't. Staple of summer right here. Spanish mackerel. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna keep a couple. We're gonna pan fry them for dinner. Whoa, summertime. That's a little chicken nugget Spanish. Yeah, we're covered in these all summer usually, so. Uh, then I'm out here. I'm going to keep a couple of fish today, so that'll be just fine pan fried. Well, I was retrieving here because I got that going on. Those are Spanish. You can't tell. I might have another Spanish here, honestly. Yep. A little slow pitch jig Spanish mackerel. Oh, that's quite all right. Nice fish. It's gotta be a sea bass, right? Feels like it's a pretty good fish though. What we got? Oh, it is a black sea bass. I figured this was. It's gotta be 13 inches to keep. Uh, most of ours get to like, you know, near the beach. You'll get a 15 incher here and there. He's picked up some kind of cool colors. Got kind of an interesting bottom here. Because they get some pretty interesting colors. Yeah, that guy's like 13. Oh, he's just over 13 and a quarter. But you know what? We're gonna put him in the. If we put him in the cooler, he'll shrink. And these guys just don't have much meat until they get to about 18, 19 inches, so it's okay by me. Haven't really caught a black sea bass along the beach over 16 inches here. Um, most of the keepers end up being like 13, 14s. As you get further offshore, they'll get into that 18, 19, 20 inch plus class. Uh, near the beach, it's just very spotty to see a good one, so 13s. Okie dokie, uh, almost on the beach. I'm going to throw a couple, uh, try a couple of things here. I'm seeing like a spinner shark here and there or black tip. One of those two are kind of coming up and doing that little roll. Nothing besides that, nothing trolling either. So it's, you see, it's kind of hard here in the summer without the flounder. Um, Spanish mackerel's around, but it can be kind of inconsistent. Sometimes the size might not be what you want. You know, the fall comes around, we'll get those big Spanish like we usually do, but summer Spanish can be those, you know, pan fryers. Trigger fish here and there, that's not consistent ever. Usually I catch like three or four triggers a year, so. Also not the most consistent near the beach thing. Flounder is definitely consistent right now. Um, we could try to snag a drum or two, not snag, but catch a drum or two. Um, it's an expression. Uh, catch a drum or two on these rocks right now. I think that's what I wanna try to do to wrap this up on. I also post weekly videos on the Patreon page. See, this type of video is made for YouTube, right? It's kind of 
it's real, but it's kind of also crafted to fit a neat YouTube algorithm. Uh, Patreon videos are more, they're more specific. They're more tactical. They're more how I plan, how I fish for ter certain types of fish from a kayak. We're coming up on a hundred patrons. So thank you to everybody who started joining this year. I'm doing that more to get a little more flexibility or freedom on the type of video I want to post because you know, YouTube's a little, YouTube punishes me from going outside the, the check marks, you know? This jetty's always great for jigging big flounder on artificials. Definitely can produce some of the biggest uh, flatties out there. I like to take my time on the hook set, honestly, because we have so many oyster toadfish. Um, sometimes uh, getting a little extra pull, you'll know. This is not the quick summary, sorry. I take that back. Oh boy. You know it. We both know it. It's that time, isn't it? Um, so much for the reds. But I hope you like big flatties, huh? All right, so here's the situation. Um, you really can't fish any inshore structure without bumping into this right now um it's a good thing it's a bad thing i guess it's nice to see they're around for sure this one ate a three eighths ounce inshore mackinac i'm just pounding on the bottom Whew. and you know the only problem is you know they're kind of not the easiest fish in the world to handle sometimes what's the size of that one i don't know it's definitely a good sized fish though so it's one we would uh, gladly keep the other day. I just did like a, a long drift along the jetty. We got one flounder on this guy. This one's a 3 8 ounce Mac. Uh, just kind of did the whole drift to see what was doing. A lot of oyster toadfish and boat traffic. No reds. About the flounder, it's a, definitely a lot trickier now. What is the, the best strategy? Do you uh, try my best today? Had a couple good pulls. Without the flatties, um, it's not quite the same out here in the summertime. My options are just not as good. All right, I'm gonna beach the kayak and that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.